welcome back. We're continuing our field trip. Uh, now we're bringing you to Corktown. Uh, I'm sitting in the Detroit Institute of Bagels, and I'm here with Bella. Um, Bella, um, can you tell us what do you do here? Yeah, um, I work the front register, so I'm a cashier person. Uh -huh. And do you live in Detroit? I do, just a couple blocks that way towards downtown. Great, well, um, one of the reasons we're here is that um, this part of Michigan Avenue is a green light corridor, uh, and we're doing a class project about Project Greenlight. Mm -hmm. um, so just so we're on the same page, um, I'll say a couple things about Project Greenlight. So um, it's an initiative of the city, and the idea is that business owners can pay into the initiative, and in exchange, they get cameras that are directly linked to the Detroit Police Department. Mm -hmm. um, so an unusual thing about it is that the police can look through the cameras at any time. Mm -hmm. um, did you know about Project Greenlight before this interview? Um, yeah, we're pretty familiar it, with it as a staff. Um, we have like a log book. Uh -huh. So um, police come in and out throughout the day and they'll come inside the log book, log book uh -huh. and then they'll ask us if anything, you know, has been oh, going yeah. on or uh -huh. anything to note. Um, so I, I, I'm familiar with it through that, but other than that, you know, no outside knowledge uh -huh. of the program and its sure. entirety. Yeah, and so um, because Project Greenlight produces this like priority businesses that mm -hmm. if you're a part of it, then I, I think if you weren't a Project Greenlight business, you wouldn't have the police coming in to sign that logbook, right? right? I'm just saying that for the for the students watching the video at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, one of the things that's been controversial about Project Greenlight is that um, the city has admitted that they use facial recognition systems. Mm -hmm. So the way that would work is that um, if you ever got an ID card in Michigan, your photo is in a database. And then as you walk in any area of the city that has green light cameras, um, it's possible for a computer to identify your to identify you and to identify your movements. Mm -hmm. um, was that something that you'd heard about before? No clue that that was a uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, how do you react to it? How do you feel about it? I mean, you know, the first instinctual reaction is you're a little uncomfortable, like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, they know my face. I mean, but you have a state ID, so I think, like, the, the shock value of it is what hits me first. Like, I don't want the police to know who I am or to, like, be able to recognize my face at any given time. Um, but I can see on the flip side, like, where the advantages lie, you know, feeling safer but mm -hmm. the whole di idea of like buying into it is like mm -hmm. unsettling to me you know uh -huh. like why do we get to have it because we have money and another business like doesn't get the same opportunity um totally had no idea about the facial recognition mm -hmm. system and i'm just kind of like not sure how i feel about it uh -huh. my first instinct though is like i'm not very comfortable with it uh -huh. <laughs> um yeah. As a Detroit resident, is crime something that you have concerns about? Um, I was a Wayne State student, and that was definitely, you know, talking to my parents initially, that was the number one topic of conversation. You know, are you safe? Are you living in the city? Like, is everything going to be okay? I felt 1,000% safe at Wayne State. We have a great police department. I, like... I've never felt safer, honestly, living on Wayne State campus. Now that I live downtown, I'm definitely a little more weary and like definitely, you know, head on a swivel. But I'd say like that's how I felt in every city I've ever been in. I'm also very blessed to be able to live in a neighborhood that I don't really have to worry about, you know, a lot of the horror stories. So like me, you know, be, having that privilege has definitely made a difference in how safe I feel in any given environment within Detroit city limits. But at work here, like I've never not felt safe. It's a great neighborhood. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I mean, yeah. the only other question I'd have is, is there any um, interactions that you've had with the police or about the cameras while you worked here that comes no. to mind as particularly noteworthy? Not really. I mean, we do, we get a lot of um, Border Patrol police officers, a lot of first responders come From in here. From the bridge to Canada or right. the tunnel? All the time. Um, I've never had like an uncomfortable situation or I felt like there was anything to note. Um, they are, we all feel like we're part of a community, so they're very neighborly. We're very neighborly to each other, so it doesn't feel like, oh, it's like this outside ominous uh -huh. presence, you know, how a lot of people would feel. Um, but I've never had a problem, nothing to note. 
Your use of the word ominous reminds me one of the things that people have said about Project Greenlight is that they find the indoor cameras disturbing. But your business opted not to have any indoor cameras. But it's possible when you go around Detroit, if you go into a Project Greenlight business, there are about um, 500 participants. Mm -hmm. um, when you're inside eating at a restaurant or something like that, there could be a camera linked to the police that's, I guess, looking at you. So mm -hmm. is that, uh, are you, do you have any thoughts about your business's decision not to have the indoor cameras? Um, Would you prefer the indoor cameras or not, or one way or the other? I mean, I know we do we do have a security system on the mm -hmm. inside, so it's not like I don't feel safe that like we need an indoor security system. We have one. Um, it does feel a little comfort comforting that like it's our own system on the inside. Right. So that initial feeling, like I'm not sure how I feel like interacting with that. I think that I'd I'd want to be more informed on how much the facial recognition system, like how much can it really divulge about who you are and what you're doing and what the information is being used to actually do in order to inform my initial feeling on right. like whether or not I'd want the system on the inside. Like I think the it's such a buzz phrase, like facial recognition. Right. You know, we hear about it all the time in social media and it can immediately least like invoke this feeling of fear. Yeah. Um, but I think I'd just be curious about, okay, yes, facial recognition, the government like has our picture. I mean, they had our picture since I had a driver's license, right? Right. So like, how much are they using? Like, what is it being used for? And I think that I want to be more informed before deciding whether or not I would feel comfortable with that inside. Sure. And I'd, I'd hope that my managers would inform me as an employee uh -huh. that this was happening. And I wasn't informed about the outside facial recognition cameras. And I'm curious about whether or not like that would have made an impact on me if they would have you know, said, hey, like, we'd love to hire you uh -huh. just to let you know like this is something that we do. Right. Um, just kind of that clarity and transparency would be something that I'd want, especially if the cameras were inside. Makes a lot of sense. You know, yeah, I mean, just so you know, from my reading, as far as I can tell, when they first launched the system, there weren't really guidelines about mm -hmm. it. But now they are supposed to only use the facial recognition system to investigate violent crimes in active uh, investigations. Mm -hmm. um, but another problem is that the research that I read says that the facial recognition is often inaccurate. Mm -hmm. So it's certainly possible for it to have false positives where you would be identified as a felon when you're not, Got for it. example. So, Got it. Um, but that's all the questions I have, unless there's anything else you want to say. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing Thank this. You, you really yeah. saved the day. Yeah, no problem. All right. <laughs>